I am Chamber of Commerce board member Kim Lee. Join me as I traverse OC for a behind the scenes glance at local businesses and organizations. Today I'm speaking with Annie Tang, coordinator of special collections and archives at Leatherby Libraries. When did the planning begin for this 160th anniversary? A lot of the planning started half a year ago and that planning usually starts a lot sooner than that. Um, but the pandemic, of course, delayed a lot of planning that we usually do ahead of time. We started planning for this uh, half a year ago, and I recalled that we had a number of blueprints that were transferred to us from our Office of Planning. And uh, they are four blueprints that date back to 1921. And 1921 was uh, the year that plans went into place for the building of Memorial Auditorium, which is part of the original Orange Union High School, of which this is the campus that we're on today. In 1954, the building that was known as uh, Memorial Auditorium uh, got converted into Memorial Hall when it became um, Chapman College. So those original blueprints from 1921, they transferred over to Chapman College's uh, property. And uh, ever since then, we've been in possession of them. What types of art are represented at Leatherby Libraries? Uh, so it's a wide range of, of artwork that's represented. Uh, we actually go into a lot of lending relationships throughout the year with um, artists or organizations. Well, right now, um, we have artwork from um, a former Holocaust survivor, wow. and he um, his artwork displays um, you know the history of his life and also the influences the Holocaust has um, on his artwork. So Annie, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into this line of work? Professionally, I am what is called an archivist. Um, archivists work with historical papers, archives, records, manuscripts, and the occasional you know, object, realia, ephemera. And so that is why, of course, I was um, curating the blueprints display because we are in charge of the university's uh, records and historical materials. Um, Someone, someone with my background usually gets a master's in library and information studies and focuses on um, archives and manuscripts um, as a specialization. So basically it's for someone who loves history and loves touching history um, with their hands. Thanks again so much, Annie, for speaking with us today. And I wish you the best of luck with your 160th anniversary. Oh, no, thank you so much for visiting the campus and visiting me and hearing a little bit about my story. And thank you for watching another episode of Orange Chamber Travels. For more information, visit orangechamber.com.